You know, this time of year, our thoughts turn to gifts, and especially gifts for kids. And the question always comes up, am I buying the age-appropriate gift for that particular child? Well, County Health and Human Services is offering up some tips on toy safety to help keep those kids safe. Here's Suzanne Bartolo. -Owen. Okay, let's go play with Sienna and your brother. Karen O'Hearn is taking her kids to a play date. There's baby Reese. Look at those cheeks. Baby Abby. And how many months is she now? Almost four months. Josh and Sienna. Kitty, 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 kitty. And Colin. And straight for the toys, yeah. You like the baby. With the coming holiday season, parents, family, and friends will be shopping for gifts for children. And the most common uh, gift for the holiday is a toy. My parents were looking at some toys for Colin and they were excited because now that he's close to three, they can get all the, the toys that are, th you know, three plus. But then I was telling them to wait because he won't be able to play with them. She's all over the place. She's going to be putting small parts in her mouth. And we have to be careful. <laughs> While these items may seem harmless, injuries can occur. The most common types of injuries would be scrapes uh, or bruises. But depending upon the type of toy, uh, injuries can be very serious and sometimes even deadly. To ensure child safety, Public Health Services stresses four messages. I have to go through that. Make sure the toys are age appropriate. Check the label. Make sure it reads non-toxic. Pay attention to the size of the toy and be aware of materials and parts. Okay, be careful with the bears, Colin. Pick them up so that Reese doesn't get them and put them in her mouth. If you are buying toys for uh, babies, you want to make sure that there are not strings or items that the child can wrap around uh, their neck or can touch or pull down into the crib. And once a child begins to push up on their knees, you want to make sure that you do not keep toys in the crib. In terms of uh, the materials and parts on toys, you want to make sure that the parts are sturdy, that there are no plastic parts that can be pulled off and swallowed. So that speaks to the fact that you don't want to buy objects that can go into a child's mouth. Paying attention to these guidelines can help make sure kids stay safe during the holiday season and year round. She's trying to get them, isn't she? In addition, also, you might want to avoid toys that have a lot of points and sharp edges, things like that. For more, just go to ctn.org.